so hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel again if you are watching my video for the very first time i want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also do me a favor to turn on the notification bell icon so whenever i put out a new video on this beautiful channel you are going to be among the first set of people to get the notification so i'm um, concerning um peter Obi's case again peter Obi has come out and speak on why he doesn't he did he did not create any school when he was you know the governor of Anambra State. You know, many people have called, many politicians have called him a stingy man and they have written many kind of, you know, insultive word on him because of the way he handled public funds, not just anyhow, you understand. So they have called him a stingy man. And, you know, they tackled him recently that why, when he's in power, why didn't he build, you know, schools around? And Peter B has come out to, you know, to speak and tell them why he did not do it so welcome back again to my youtube channel if this is your first time hearing my voice i want to encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button and also do me a favor to turn on the notification bell icon so whenever i put out a new video on this beautiful channel you are going to be among the first set of people to get um the notification and if you are a returning subscriber what i mean by returning subscriber is that if you are subscribed on this channel and you're coming back again to watch my video you are highly welcome so be the pressure candidate of the labor party has finally come out you know to address um criticism direct directed um at him on his inability to construct you know to construct new schools during his tenure as anambra state governor so former presidential advisor reno omokri reportedly reportedly attacked pitobi last week in an interview with nigeria writer shion okim baloye for the mic on podcast on podcast this information was obtained you know by the scenarios 247 update okay so he put out a challenge to the previous governor of Anambra State and his adherents, adher known as the obedient, obedient, to name one school that he founded and oversaw throughout his tenure from 2007 to 2014. In, in addition, Reno Omokri um, said he would award the first person to think of the response with ten thousand dollar imagine he said if anyone can come out and say okay this is the this is the school um um the um peter be actually um this thing created when he was um in post when he was on post is 2007 to 2014 that is going to award that person you know he's going to award that person some of ten thousand dollars if anybody can mention the school that P2B actually built or found, you know, when he was and it, he was in uh, Manambra State Governor from 2007 to 2014, I think that's about seven seven um, years of ruling um, uh, Anambra State. Okay, and um, mm. as as he states here at a news conference on Wednesday in Abuja, P2B responded by claiming that those who had criticized him for not building schools in Anambra State. I had not read his main manifesto. He said that Anambra State was rated 26 in the nation when he arrived. He, he closed its schools and had a disorganized educational system. By the time he departed, Anambra had raised to the top. You understand? I improved people's quality of life, their physical and mental health, school and access to basic necessities, and that, and that was my manifesto. It, um, Peter B continues saying that people shone like stars, creating um coastal lines when internal highways are un unstable. It is analogous to create new schools when the existing ones are in disrepair. You understand? Peter B added that building a new school was not the problem, but maintaining the old one um would be better. You know. When I say Peter B do something with intelligence, it's like maybe I'm siding him or, you know, I just want to talk about Peter B. You know, Peter B came there, he looked at everywhere, the schools are there, schools are there, you understand? So, he said there will not be any sense building another schools. why he can repair the, you know, the former one. So, that's why um, Peter B, um, um, that's his reply. He said that there are schools um, in um, Anambra already. That there's no any reason for him to be building another one. You understand? There's no any reason for him to go and be building another schools. Why there are still school schools in the state? So rather he would rather repair them or build rather than to build another one. So he has been criticized badly in the past months of his refusal to build a new schools when he was the governor of Anambra State, while he was contesting for the post of president 
tent during the 2023 presidential election, he was badly criticized for not building schools during his tenure as the governor of Anambra State. Okay, so I want to hear from you guys in the comment section what is your own opinion and what do you actually think that um what Peter will be the Peter will be response. I want you guys to share your opinion about his response because his response is rather for him to build new schools, he rather repair you know the ones that has been built already than to waste another money blame foundation just to build another schools you know maybe just to impress um some people some set of people you understand so let me hear from you in the comment section see you in my next video